you hear this, well, it breaks down in the soil. You've heard that forever, right? I mean, th that's a very industry standard. Res it breaks down in the soil. Here's what they don't tell you. It breaks down in high organic matter soil. And you just gave us the breakdown in biomass, bacteria, fungi. Those are the living parts of the soil that are part of that organic matter in the soil that give the soil life, funginess, tilt that you can smell when you, when you pick it up. It smells like humus. What happens is under conventional chemical use, chemical fertilizer, fertilizer use, conventional plowing, our soils have dropped in organic matter. Originally, pre-European, North America averaged somewhere around 10% organic matter soil. We are now down into the 1% range. When we came to our farm in 1961 and took our first soil samples, our soils here averaged 1% organic matter. Matter. Today, half a century later, a little more, we're at a little over 8% organic matter. The point is, it's clever speak. What breaks down in the soil? Yeah, it breaks down in a compost pile. Because the compost pile is full of all this protozoa and, and natural life that eats stuff. So yes, does it break down in the soil? Yes, it does. But in our normal cropland soils, which are, are now devoid of biological life, it doesn't break down very well. It's a bait and switch. It's, a, you know, from an argument standpoint, it's a complete uh, bait and switch thing.